And then I got to meet you, and I got to coach you. And I realized, this guy's not crazy. He's crazy about winning. People have no idea how much you impacted my career. You know, it's funny when you are giving someone an award, it's about them. But in your case, it's about what you gave everybody else. You changed the culture of the Boston Celtics. You told us so much about what it takes to win from a player perspective and a coach. You embody the word Ubuntu. I am Kevin Bernard because you are. Thank you. Every coach in America, in the world, should have a chance to coach a Kevin Garnett, the greatest team player to ever play. Make the Hall of Fame and and work with him at TNT. Kevin Garnett. Good thing. Big shout out here. How you doing? I uh, played there a couple years with Kevin. Kevin done a lot for the city. They love him. They respect him. Yes, you are something great. It is well deserved. And uh, I appreciate the friendship. And you know, I love you, brother. Congratulations. Well deserved. An amazing honor to be in the Raptors with the Southern. You up there with some of the best to ever do it. Hey, you've been a great player for a long time. You're a really good dude. Well deserved, my brother. Welcome to the Raptors. You know, his passion, his energy, his intensity is unmatched in the NBA. You put all three together, there's not an NBA player that had all three at that level. Um, congratulations. And the Celtics, now you're a part of the OBF, the official block family. Yeah. And let's hope tonight you don't need the cuss button. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> hey yo, stop. 
get that mission. Some some of the bad new bitches that take to the street, they never get to the dick to the cannon and gun.
Uh, it was just that injection of the arm that we needed. And, uh, you know, what, what better way to revive a franchise than bring the energy that Kevin brought every night, the spirit, his passion, his play. I didn't expect this at all. When you got here, you looked up at the numbers. When did you start thinking, like, that's where I want to be cemented in history? You know, crazy, I'm going to tell a crazy story, man. You probably ain't going to want to hear this, but uh, Antoine Walker, man, before I got here, shot the sight of Antoine. You know, man, sight of Antoine went at it, you know, for years. It was like the fall, and, and, and when, before I came here, he pulled me to the side, and he just gave me some some great words of wisdom. And um, I took that into the press conference, and the first thing I did after the press conference was coming in, and I looked up at the bathroom, and I just manifested not only a championship, but seeing myself in the in the ceiling. Yeah. So I'm going to
guys hope you're doing well I uh, just want to recap my week so as you saw I'm keeping up with the increasing my mile runs by 0.1 each week um, and then uh, it was Arushi's birthday um, she's one of my best friends and she's uh, someone I met at Babson while uh, doing the NBA um, you know just one of those people that you know you instantly connect with um, you know, because she's so mission driven and, and so purpose driven. Um, and, uh, you know, it was a great night. We went to Howl at the Moon. Um, it was great energy, you know, um, she's, uh, you know, uh, a social butterfly and so it's connected to a lot of people. And, uh, so, you know, I think there was like at least 25 people. Um, and everybody was in a good mood celebrating our friend's birthday, um, so it was just a great time. And then Friday went to Arsenal Yards. Um, if you've never been, it, it's kind of like a cool place um, in Watertown. They have, you know, several sit-in restaurants and then uh, some, you know, fast food type restaurants, some retail stores. And uh, Saturday. Um, mostly just rested. I didn't vlog this, but went to uh, Rajiv's and Shruti's. Um, that was a great get together, food, and uh, it was good. Great time, great dancing, great conversations. Um, Sunday went to the Celtics game. Um, it was also Kevin Garnett's retirement ceremony. Um, you know, for those of you that don't know, you know, KG is. Uh, my hero in life, um, you know, I started dealing with um, anxiety and, and depression, um, you know, around 12, 13, middle school age. Um, and, you, you know, I just dealt with a lot of existential thoughts and I would, you know, um, you know, KG was a really big help for me. Um, you know, basketball is my favorite sport and when he came you know, he made the Celtics immediately relevant. Um, the first year he was here, 2007, 2008, they won a championship. Um, he himself has got a great story um, in terms of, you know, becoming an NBA player. Um, and, you know, for the six years that he was here, it was just it was a great time. You know, you had a person that was going to give 100% um, and just you know, loved the game, loved passion um, throughout middle and high school. Some of my favorite memories are just Friday nights with watching the Celtics and, uh, you know, KG and, you know, Tommy Heinsohn and Mike Gorman, um, you know, doing the telecast. And, um, you know, I think basketball for me uh, is like an escape, you know, kind of like sometimes movies are for people. and. You know, I just get into a flow state of like forgetting everything that goes on in the world, um, and just being locked in into the you know the game. Um, the game, this uh, this game um, on Sunday, the Celtics lost, but 
honestly, you know, with the re with the retirement ceremony being there and celebrating KG throughout the game, it didn't even like I don't know. It wasn't even that big of a deal. Um, you know, if you follow basketball, um, Ray Allen and, and Kevin Garnett had a you know somewhat of a strained relationship, I would say, after Ray left the Celtics to go to the um, you know, one of our rivals in the Miami Heat. Um, and it was nice um, that they kind of, this was kind of the pub public, uh, I'm sure they've, you know, they talked um, at All-Star Weekend with the 75th anniversary of the NBA and they were seen together. But um, this was kind of the public way of squashing the beef um, you know, with Ray being at the game, them hugging it out, and, and all that. Um, and, you know, so it was a great night altogether. I think it's it's interesting now being a working professional. Um, you know, you just value these moments so much. Um, you know, when you're a kid, um, you don't want to bug your parents to, you know, spend a lot of money on it game but when you're a working professional you can choose how you spend your money and so it's nice to be able to do these kind of things and observe you know sports history um but yeah hope you guys are well thanks guys